In this video, we will look at how OnePlus has changed over the years. And how they've stuck to their motto of, never settle, by always balancing high-end features, with lower prices than their competitors. In 2014 the company unveiled its first device, the OnePlus One, which was intended to capture market share from Google Nexus. The One had comparable, and in some ways better specifications, to other flagship phones of that year. While being sold at a significantly lower price, at $299. Unfortunately, early OnePlus phones were only available through an invitation system. The OnePlus 2 was unveiled in July 2015, a little over a year after the OnePlus One. The handset resembled the One, but it featured a fingerprint scanner below its display. The phone was one of the first Android devices to sport a USB-C port. The two shipped with Android 5.1 Lollipop and Oxygen OS, which replaced Cyanogen Mod. The OnePlus X was unveiled in October 2015. It was their entrance to the budget phone market. It was a smaller phone than their previous models, measuring only 5 inches. The phone was sold for $249, and consisted mostly of the same internal components as their first phone. The OnePlus One, but with an improved display. It was the first OnePlus that didn't really take off. That's perhaps why the X was their first and last budget phone. The OnePlus 3 was the company's first metal unibody phone. The phone was well regarded amongst critics, mostly for its low price and high-end specs. A front-facing fingerprint scanner made a comeback on this model, along with the capacitive buttons. This phone came with an OLED panel, and also included the Dash Charge quick charging technology. The OnePlus 3T was unveiled in November 2016 as a minor upgrade to the still relatively new OnePlus 3. The 3 and 3T actually looked the same, save for a new color variant. But it did bring some important improvements over the OnePlus 3, including a more powerful processor, and larger battery. The phone ended up being quite successful for OnePlus, so the company opted to continue releasing two flagship phones per year. The OnePlus 5 was unveiled in June 2017, as the successor to the OnePlus 3, skipping the number 4. This was the first OnePlus model to sport two rear-facing cameras, aligned in a way that resembled the iPhone 7. But photo quality was far from that of the iPhone. The 5 didn't follow the trend of banishing the bezels, but was still a very fine-looking phone. The OnePlus 5 was just 5 months old when the 5T arrived in November 2017. The phone had an improved camera and a bigger, longer, 6-inch screen with smaller bezels. Moving the fingerprint scanner to the back helped reduce the size of the bezels and increase the size of the display. Other than the fingerprint scanner, the back side of this phone looked identical to the OnePlus 5. The OnePlus 6 arrived in May 2018 with even thinner bezels than the 5T, and included a rather noticeable display notch. This was during the iPhone notch craze of 2018. This model was the first from the company to offer water resistance and a 256GB storage variant. Unfortunately, it still had an unimpressive resolution and no wireless charging. The OnePlus 6T launched in October 2018 and had an even larger display than the previous model, but a more contained notch. The 6.4-inch display was an Opticum OLED with an in-display fingerprint sensor. It also featured a noticeably larger battery and launched with Oxygen OS, a customized version of Android 9. 
but overall, it looked very similar to the OnePlus 6. Following current trends, OnePlus released two models simultaneously. The OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro. The OnePlus 7 looked identical to the 6T but with many internal upgrades. The 7 Pro was the larger of the two phones, and it featured three cameras on the back, while the 7 only had two. The 7 Pro featured no bezels or display holes, unlike the OnePlus 7, which came with a waterdrop notch. The device featured a pop-up selfie camera instead. Neither of the two phones offered a 3.5mm headphone jack, but they did offer stereo speakers. The OnePlus 7T and 7T Pro were unveiled separately, in September and October of 2019. The 7T had a new camera system, featuring the same primary and wide-angle lenses, though adding a third telephoto lens. While the 7T was considered a significant upgrade compared to the previous generation, the 7T Pro was a subtle upgrade. The main changes being faster charging, faster processor, and a slightly quieter pop-up camera. The new warp charge technology allowed these phones to be fully charged in just under an hour. The OnePlus 8 series devices will most likely be delayed. But when they show up, they'll feature a punch hole display, reverse charging, a 120Hz refresh rate display panel, wireless charging, and a quad camera setup. The OnePlus 8 will come with a 6.5-inch curved AMOLED display, while the Pro will come with a 6.8-inch display. The 8 will feature a triple lens setup, while the 8 Pro will boast quad cameras. And we'll finally see wireless charging on a OnePlus device, however, only on the Pro. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. If you feel like we missed other important aspects of these OnePlus phones, let us know in the comments.